Hey, it's March 1st, 2022. This is Andrew in Omaha, and I wanted to show you this badge holder that I just finished. It's made for a Sheriff's Deputy Star. Um, I made it out of Wicked and Craig English bridal leather. Um, the main body of the piece is about four ounces, and then uh, the round piece that wraps around the badge itself that it sinks down into is about six ounces. <clears throat> I ended up cutting it down on my uh, Cobra Class 14 leather splitter and also the uh, hardware came off another uh, badge here, a badge holder that this person didn't want. Basically uh, I was contacted by this person. She wanted a uh, duplicate made of her old badge holder. This is the one she got when she originally started on the department and uh, it's got some sentimental value so she wanted to hang on to it. Um, but uh, it's starting to come apart, some of the stitching and stuff. And she asked if I could just make her a new one. And I ended up uh, duplicating everything. I checked to see how thick the leather was, duplicated the thickness of the leather, uh, duplicated um, the, uh, the diameter of the entire piece. Um, because uh, she went and bought one of these from, I don't know, Galls or something like that. And it's a lot bulkier. Um, the leather's not as nice, and she didn't like it, and she just wanted one like her old one, but she couldn't find it, so she asked me to make her one. I did delete the uh, holes at the top of the piece here that are made to put a chain through, so you know the officer can put their badge around their neck if they wish to, but she just clips it to her belt. So um, those holes are not in it. But basically there's Velcro on both sides. On the inside here, uh, the badge clips in and then just closes up and you can just stick it on your belt like that. I don't know how all that shows up. But there's no pattern or anything available to make this so I had to get the poster board out and start uh, using the old piece to duplicate uh, the pattern to make the new one. I do that a lot. Uh, a lot of wallets I've done that way. Gun holsters, things like that. Take the old piece, take as much of it as you can, uh, and trace the new uh, piece out. And then uh, sometimes I have to start completely from scratch and uh, begin drawing out uh, pieces on poster board, cutting it out, see what works, see what doesn't, before I start cutting expensive leather. So anyway, I got some video of me putting the pattern together, uh, me putting the project together, Hope you like it. This is Andrew in Omaha. Have a nice day. All right, we're getting started here on some nice cheap yellow poster board that I got on discount uh, at Hobby Lobby. This is the original badge holder right here. I'm going to draw the outline. And then I already made this little uh, circle uh, blank here, which I'm going to use to make the uh, uh, outline for the badge itself here shortly. But uh, just make it almost like a figure eight here. And you can see where the stitching is coming up out of the uh, original badge holder. Uh, just double check here, make sure that it is clo as close to the original as possible. And then I'm going to come back in here, uh, draw the outline around the badge itself. There's really only going to be four main pieces as you're going to see to this entire project if you don't count the Velcro. But I'm um, just going to come back in here with the pen knife cut out the outline of the badge and then uh, once all these uh, paper pieces are cut out I'm going to end up uh, basically assembling the paper pieces as if they were the real thing to make sure that everything is lining up and fitting uh, the best that it can. Uh, you see the uh, outline over the badge kind of just goes over the top of the main body there, those two holes I just cut are the holes of where the uh, pin on the back of the badge actually goes to secure it to the holder. Now I'm measuring the little uh, rectangle leather piece that's used to hold the metal clip and then I'm going to draw it out here on this piece and I'm going to end up cutting it out with the pen knife as well.
Now that all the pieces are cut out, I'm just kind of mocking it up, seeing how it's all going to fit. And then I'm going to pull the old clip off this Gull's uh, badge holder that she doesn't like. And she said, go ahead and use the hardware office so I don't have to order one out of a catalog and wait. I can just get this uh, project done. So I just slipped the old uh, clip off the old one. And I'm just double checking to make sure my measurements are correct on this uh, mock-up that I did. Now I'm just taking a compass, uh, finding out where the exact center of the uh, piece is there. So I can try to get uh, everything as centered as possible. And that's the way the badge is going to ride inside uh, the holder. And there's your four main pieces. Like I said, I'm making this out of Wicket and Craig English bridal leather. It's vegetable tanned, and I believe this is probably about 10 ounces. It's pretty thick, and this is just a scrap piece, but uh, the, it's even though it's a small scrap piece, the pieces are big enough to make uh, all the parts I need for this project, so that's why I hang on to some of these scrap pieces here. Um, I also have the uh, Velcro there, but uh, since I have the... Cobra class uh, 14 leather splitter here. I can cut all these pieces down to the exact thickness that I need and you can see me with a gauge here constantly checking the thickness seeing uh, how much further I need to go down but the main ring around the badge like I said earlier is going to be about six ounces so that's pretty thick and then uh, the body of the uh, holder is probably about four ounces and I'm going to delete the uh, holes for the uh, chain because she doesn't not she does not want to wear this around her neck, so just clip it to her belt. Now I'm just continuing to cut pieces out here using a combination of my rotary knife, my pen knife, and my craft tool knife. When I'm cutting the star out here. There's going to be a uh, a blank that comes out. This is just like on the uh, fire shields that I make. I always hang on to the blank because if I'm going to end up sewing around it, I'll put that blank back in, and that way the foot of the sewing machine will ride around uh, whatever the part is that I need to sew down, and then I can just pop that blank out, and we're good to go. I'll finish off these edges with uh, sandpaper and probably a burnishing stick and use some uh, leather, black leather dye and some uh, edge paint to uh, do the edges well all the pieces um, that I can't get to once the project is together as long as it's a part like this I'll go ahead and get those parts uh, painted up and finished and then sew it together. Now I'm uh, going to out, uh, draw the outline and cut out the main body here. Once I uh, began uh, uh, test fitting the badge, um, I'm going to figure out that the original holes I cut for the pin to go through are too small. And I'm going to have to take it back out and make the holes just a little bit bigger so it fits and the clasp can be pushed over in order to secure the badge. Also, now that this uh, piece of leather has been split down to about four ounces, it uh, the uh, the uh, flesh side you can see is spotty. So I'm going to go back over with some Phoebe's black leather dye to get that uh, color back, so it doesn't stick out uh, when the badge holder is open. And then I'll just use this two-sided tape here uh, to get the uh, little holder for the clip held in place temporarily and then I'm going to use my Cobra class 20 flatbed sewing machine with number uh, 138 black nylon thread to uh, stitch this piece down. I'm going to use uh, the same sewing machine and the same thread uh, throughout this entire project. 
and I do have the uh, speed of this video sped up quite a bit if you can't tell I do not sew this fast now I'm going to line them up the new one against the original just to make sure that our uh, sizes are the same and they are and now I'm gonna end up uh, like I said earlier getting the uh, die and the uh, edge coat onto uh, these pieces that need to be done now while the project is apart just hitting it with some 400 grit sandpaper and then uh, going back around and putting the dye and uh, paint on now I'm just sticking the uh, velcro on and I'll use a pen knife to uh, cut the extra off uh, around the edges here Now right here is the test fit that I initially talked about where uh, I figured out that the holes were too small. I went and put the ring around it and it sits way too high. So I came back in and made the holes just a little bit bigger to drop it down just a little bit enough to uh, get that all that uh, those pieces to line up. And I did make that bottom hole a little bit wider right there so that clasp can come over and the badge can be secured easily. I'm going to put the badge back in, put the ring around it, and that's fitting a lot nicer. Now it's time for some stitch lines. Just using a compass to put the stitch lines in, and then I'm going to go around the entire piece and stitch it all down to get those Velcro pieces put down permanently. I haven't gotten to use my flatbed machine for a while, so I was kind of excited to get it back out. It's coming back around. Same servo motor as my uh, Class uh, 3 uh, harness stitcher. And now it's time to put the trim ring that goes around the badge on. So I got some two-sided tape. I'm going to stick it on there for a test fit and I'll knock the tape off. Put it back around here. Then I'm going to remove the badge and that plug I was talking about earlier. I'm going to get that out and I'm going to replace the badge with that plug. and we're going to put a stitch line in as well and there's the plug now we're going to return to the sewing machine for one last time I have that blank in there and I'm just going to go around my stitch line around the perimeter of this uh, ring that goes around the badge Got the machine slowed way down. I don't want to run off the edge either up to the inside or the outside of the project. And I was able to finish this without making any mistakes. And I wish this machine had a locking reverse lever versus a spring loaded one because it's kind of difficult to try to hold down the reverse lever, operate the hand wheel, and uh, keep a hand on your project and everything all at the same time. It makes you need two pairs of hands instead of one sometimes to run this. Alright, now uh, that ring is stitched in. I'm going to test fit the badge again. 
It's a common theme through this whole thing, just constantly test fitting to make sure things are going where they need to go. And so far, so good. I'm going to jump out here to the belt sander and get some of the edges knocked down. Just the cheap Harbor Freight uh, belt sander is nothing special. And then I'll take the uh, fine edge uh, craft tool uh, beveler, knock the edges off that were kicked up from the belt sander. And then we'll start the sanding process of 220, 400 wet sand. Um, probably use a piece of canvas cloth here as well as uh, a burnishing stick. And whether you go and buy a actual burnishing stick made specifically for that or just use the side of a wooden uh, tool like an edge beveler, it all works the same. Knock some uh, uh, Phoebe's uh, leather dye on here. And then come back in with some edge paint. And there's the side of the edge bevel I'm using to uh, bevel or correction to burnish the sides of this project. Now we can throw some Phoebe's acrylic resiline on here to try and make it as water resistant as possible. I really like the resiline. I like the shine that it puts on the leather products. Um, I know I've used Tandy's uh, Super Sheen products before. I like the Phoebe's uh, products a lot better as far as the uh, finishes. Uh, okay, there's the uh, clip that I pulled off of the uh, Gall's uh, badge holder that she didn't like. And I just uh, secured it to this one. You can see how the uh, two holes for the necklace are not present on the one I just made. And there's the Gall's one that she didn't like. You can see how much bigger it is than the other two. And here we go to... Uh, the final test fit. I think this is the last time I actually put this badge in here. I left it in here after this. Get it secured. You can see that little clasp that just goes over the needle. That closed down. And there. This badge is a it's not a special badge uh, flat one for like a wallet or anything. It's got a domed shape to it, so it does stick out a little bit, but it still looks good. Fun project. This is Andrew in Omaha. Have a nice day.